In this video, we're going to talk about how CloudFormation integrates with a service called AWS Systems Manager Parameter Store. Systems Manager Parameter Store provides secure hierarchical storage for configuration data management and secrets management. You can store data such as passwords, database strings, and license codes as parameter values. You can also store values as plain text or encrypted data. You can then reference values by using the unique name that you specified when you created the parameter. It allows you to use a secure and scalable hosted secrets management service. It also improves your security posture by separating your data from your code. And finally, it lets you tag parameters individually and then secure access from different levels, including operational, parameter, EC2 tag, or path levels. So right now, I'm in AWS Systems Manager Parameter Store, which I got to by going to Services and then going to Systems Manager. And then in Systems Manager, clicking on Parameter Store on the left side of the page. Right now, I have two parameters stored for this example. One is called My EC2 Type Dev, and the other is My EC2 Type Prod. Now, going all the way into Systems Manager Parameter Store is beyond the scope of this video, but for now, suffice to say that what I've been able to do is store two strings under different names. And if we click on My EC2 Type Dev, we'll see that I've stored a value of T2 small. And similarly, if we go to My EC2 Type Prod, you'll see I've stored the value of m4.large. Now, with that knowledge of our two parameters, let's check out what this would look like with CloudFormation. CloudFormation has always allowed you to customize your templates by using parameters for runtime input values. Parameters, of course, make your template code dynamically configurable, improving the reusability of your code. Previously, the only ways you could specify values for these parameters were to pass the plain text values as arguments to the CloudFormation API or to hard code them in the template using default values. This posed a few different limitations. First of all, there was no centralized place to define or update your parameters and then import them into CloudFormation. And second, when changing parameters, you had to either slightly rewrite your template code or pass new parameter values when doing stack update operation. Now, you can use existing parameters section of your CloudFormation template to define Systems Manager parameters along with other parameters. Systems Manager parameters, again, are a unique type that is different from existing parameters because they refer to actual values in the parameter store. The value for this type of parameter would be the Systems Manager parameter key instead of a string or other value. CloudFormation will fetch values stored against these keys in Systems Manager in your account and use them for the current stack operation. If the parameter being referenced in the template does not exist in Systems Manager, a synchronous validation error is thrown. Also, if you've defined any parameter value validation for Systems Manager parameters, they'll be performed against SSM keys, which are given as input values for template parameters, not actual values stored in Systems Manager. Parameters stored in Systems Manager are mutable. Anytime you use a template containing Systems Manager parameters to create or update your stacks, CloudFormation uses the values for these Systems Manager parameters at the time of the create or update operation. So, as parameters are updated in Systems Manager, you can have the new value of the parameter take effect by just executing a stack update operation. So in CloudFormation, you can actually use a special instance type to pull values from parameter store. For example, in this template, let's look at the instance type. So the parameter of instance type has a default of my EC2 type div, which matches one of the strings that we have here. And it has a type of SSM, parameter, and then value with a string parameter type. What that means is it's a special type that's going to look specifically for a systems manager parameter store. And in this case, if we don't provide it a value, it's going to give it the default of my EC2 type dev. And of course, my EC2 type dev is t2.small. So let's see where this template uses this parameter. It looks like it uses it down here in the EC2 instance. And there it is, instance type. So what's going to happen is if we use my EC2 type dev as the default, then an EC2 instance is going to be spun up with the type of t2.small. And that'll wrap it up for our short video on how to use Systems Manager Parameter Store with CloudFormation. So if that makes sense, then feel free to move on.